Sunday, we want to, the blessing of God to come upon you today. Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon that form will prosper. Today, I want to talk a little bit about the Word of God and about you going to the next level, wherever you may be this morning or this evening, wherever you might be, wherever you might be coming from. I want to share with you a breakthrough to what God got for you today. And I want to say to you, if you got a need to plant a seed type of ministry, God going to bless and open up a door for you. I want you to get ready for God to bless you. I want you on this March, which is St. Michael March, the month of March of St. Michael, I want to invoke the spirit of healing and deliverance to you this morning. I want to say to you, the word of God is still real. And I want to share something with you this morning as we get ready to go into our service. We want you to listen to our radio show, Block Talk, from 11 to 12. And we want you to listen to that. Let that be a blessing to you. And no weapon, this Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon that will form against thee will prosper. There are no weapon that will form against your prophet. Right now, we're dealing with administration. Uh, I was a pharaoh that's taking the people another level. I go back to Genesis, and in Genesis, God said, Abraham, I'm going to bless your seed, and I'm going to make you prosperous. And right now, I'm going to tell you, body, mind, soul, and spirit, God got a blessing for you. Be happy. Love somebody. This is about family. We're praying for all the families of the world. Family, uh, uh, we're praying for all the families of the world. There's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal this morning. I want you to go knowing someone and flowing in the right direction. I want to tell you, this 2017 is your year and your season to be blessed. I want you to start your business, get ready. I just want to share with you this morning, love. Tell somebody you love them and walk away from negativity. If it ain't in the book, if it's not in the word of God, don't mess with it. You know, some members fight, sisters and brothers fighting. Uh, sister told me a sister ain't talking to a brother, brother ain't talking to Leave it alone. Uh, fretting up that self, evil do is soon be cut down. Get ready for God to mash your blessing. Get ready for God to open up a door for you. I'm excited what God's going to be doing for me and you. I'm excited that God's going to open up the door for you. I want you to name it and claim it. Claim the word of God. I'm praying for you, you, and you today for God to bless you. When I come into some of the scriptures uh, as we look, I want you to understand the power of God. Praise his name. Praise God in spite of. I'm praying for those that are sick. And right now, I want to take this time out. Father God, the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, bless that man, bless that woman. Father God, those that are lost out, we had you up. The God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, Amon Ra, the God of our ancestor, and we are also Jehovah God, and we are also Allah, the God of the universe, Amon Ra, the God of wind, the God of water. The Native American, bless them. As we in confusion, as Satan have brought confusion into our community, into our household, husband and wife, sister and brother, and Abaddon, the mer the angel of death, Abaddon had been loosened, but I rebuke him this morning, I rebuke him this evening, send him back into the pits where he's supposed to go, God bless you, Jackie, God bless you, Maxine, I want you to know, God have a blessing for you this morning, as I sit and pray, I pray for you, Sister Francis, Sister Mag, I'm praying for you, I want you to know, there's no sorrow on earth that heaven cannot heal. I want you to get ready for God to do a healing for you. I want you to get ready to claim the blessing. Yes, the blessing that God got for you. As I turn today, you know, I as I look in the word, God got a word for somebody today. And I'm going to give you that word. 
maybe you don't understand it. Maybe you will understand it. But I, as you understand it, let it be a blessing to you. And if it be a blessing to you, so I would give unto you the great power to speak. God is giving you the power to speak out. And when God gives you the power to speak, he said, Jeremiah, I'm going to give you the power to speak to governments. I'm going to give you, uh, uh, Jeremiah, power to pull strong hosts down. And this is what God told Jeremiah. God told Jeremiah this. Before, before I form you in the belly, I know you. Okay? I want to tell you this morning, God already know where you're going. Shirley and John, God already know what you're doing. Uh, uh, Rose, God know where you're at. I want you to get ready, devil, for God to bless you to the next level. Diane, I'm praying for you this morning. Mary, I'm praying for you. God have already chose your path. You need to walk in the path and go to the next level. If God will bless you, you coming off of drugs, you coming off the alcohol, I rebuke all that negativity. God is getting ready to bless you. Tell somebody, I feel great. And like Prophet John said, all is well, east, west, north, and south. I want you to claim your healing this morning. I would like for you to claim your breakthrough this morning because God got a blessing for you. And as I give it, this is the year of the rooster, and this is the year of the lunar year, the year that God's going to appear, his angels going to appear. And the rooster represents we are family, mean we are protected. I want you to get ready for God to bless you. If you notice in my background, I got the pyramid behind me uh, with, the, with the angels descending in Egypt and Africa where all life come from, melanated people, people of God. I want you to know we are family. We must come together. And I want to say to you, the lady called me, said she's losing her health care. So don't worry about it because God in control. We're praying for the family of Chuck Berry, who was the king of rock and roll, who was the author and, and started it, Chuck Berry. And we, we he's, he's an ancestor now. I say, I say, and I, Tuesday night, I would be in the spirit with Chuck Berry, B.B. King, James Brown, some of the great. I would be in the spirit with them and talking to them about the music careers and where we go from here. We had Bobby Blue Bland. We had lots of great artists past. They left legacies behind them. And we need to ask them what we need to do with that. I say, I say, that's Tuesday night. Crossing over to ancestors, you ought to be him. And let me bless you. God bless your soul. I want you to go knowing, sowing, and flowing in the right direction this morning. I want you to know Sister Etta down in in Greenville, Mississippi, I'm praying for you. Sister Ann, I'm praying for you. And I want you to know God got a blessing with your name on it. And God got a door open up for you, Sister Kim. Get ready for God to open up that door for you. Johnny, God said, all is well. Brother Frank, God said he's going to pour out the blessing for you. I feel this morning the anointing of the Spirit. I need to prophesy to some of you. I got a word for you. This is the month of March, I'm going to give you the word. This is the third month. I declare healing on cancer, TB, tuberculosis, cataract, tumor. I declare healing by the power of the Almighty God. Get ready for your healing. I'm going to give you a word. Don't change the channel. Stay right here. I got a word with your name on it, your address, and what you want. Jackie, the Spirit said you got to come to New York and the Midwest for your for you to be blessed. I say, I say, I want to tell you, Hattie, all is well. Contact me because God got a blessing. I got a word for you, Hattie Patterson. I got a word for you. I want you to know, Jeremy, I'm praying for you. Uh, Marvin, I'm praying for you. I want you to get ready. I feel great things is happening. I want you to go knowing some uh, reader, things are working for you. All is well, Bobby. I want to let you know you go knowing, sowing, and flowing. God going to bless you in a special way. I got a word. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. 
I want you to claim the word of God. I want you to get ready. It's good to know Jesus in the pardon. You're saying, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him this morning shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm praying for you that's at home. Come and listen. I'm praying for your healing, Robin. I'm praying for your healing, Lois. I'm praying for your healing, Dino. I want you to know that God got a blessing for you with your name on it. And I want to tell you, Pat, God said he's going to let you walk up right. And I want to tell you, Ronnie, it's going to be all right. Johnny, it's going to be all right. I want to tell you, get ready for God, demon, to break that yoke for you. Get ready. I want to tell you, Michael, God, I'm going to do it for you. Maurice, get ready. I want to tell you, God got a, a essay. God got a blessing for you. I want to let you know, Janice, all is where it looked dim, but I declare healing. Body, mind, soul, and spirit. Yes, I'm talking to you, Janice. It's time for you to get up and come out and let God bless you. Glory. Hallelujah. I just feel the anointing. And, and I see the young lady. You say, I'm going to school, Bishop. I'm, about, I, I'm pregnant. Baby, go on and have a baby. God got, God got a blessing with your name on it. God got a blessing for you, and it's going to be all right. So don't worry about that. I want you to remain uh, in the clutches of God for him to open the door for you because it's going to work for you. I want you to praise God because when the blessings go up, I want you to get ready for, and bless and get a blessing because God got a blessing for you. And I want you to know God will open up that door for you today. And I want you to get ready to claim the blessing of God and the blessing that God got for you. For you, you, and you. And, and the blessing is going to keep on falling in your lap. Get ready for God to bless you. Get ready for God to open that door for you. Because the blessing that God's going to do for you, you, and you this morning, I'm excited in this March month, going into April, that the door that God's going to open up for you, blessings keep falling and say, I claim my blessing, and I want you to claim it, body, mind, soul, and spirit. It's good to know him tonight.
God bless you today. And every door closed will be open up. Get ready for a blessing and a breakthrough. Get ready for God to open up that door for you. Dr. Christian. in a hurry. So I wanted to come to you this morning with the word of God. And on this month, the third month, all is well. I want to tell you, God got your back. Whatever it seemed like is not that way. God is watching over you right now. Every mother, every body that's crying God want to touch your body and your mind body mind soul and spirit that spirit of Michael that spirit the Holy Spirit watching over you right now wherever you at I want to pray for you mother love God bless you Mother Bertha and your family, I'm calling on your family to know all is well. And I want to let you know that God is able to bless you this morning. I want to just say that God is able to lift you all out of Lola Bar. Get ready for God to lift you out. And I want you to know that Mother Bass, I'm praying for you and your family. I want to let you know, I got a good report. I heard somebody from the spirit world say, she's doing good, Bishop. I say, I say, Adrian, I'm praying for you. Miriam, I'm praying for you. I want to let you know, for the, all the family, I might not call your name, but your name have come on my heart and come on my altar, and I want to bless you this morning. This is the year, the lunar year. It's the year that the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to get with you. This is the year for breakthrough. I feel right now, Dr. Christian, I need to do some prophesying. I think tonight, right now, at this 11 o'clock hour, I need to prophesy. The bill that they're trying to pass in Washington not going to go nowhere because it's kicking people, four, 5,000 people off of uh, health care. They can call it Obamacare. They can call it Trump care. We talk about people being healed. People getting rid of cancer. TB2. We're talking about medical health. And God going to help. Uh, that's one prophecy. Another prophecy, as they put the pipeline through from Canada to Illinois, you're going to see terrible weather. You're going to see fires. you see earthquakes in places you've never seen. I'm prophesying to you. Dust storms in Phoenix, Arizona. Earthquakes in California. Y'all don't hear me this morning. I'm going to bring the word to you. Oh, I'm going to leave that alone because somebody don't understand. When God come out of the closet, he really come out. And when God come out, he set things in order. And God want to set his law in order for God is God and God is the God of the whole world. And what God says, go. I want you to get on board this morning. I want you to say, I want to go knowing, sowing, and flowing in the right direction. I really want to be with God. Psalms 136. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord 
for he is good and his mercy, somebody said mercy, his mercy endure. All, I don't need no justice this morning. I need mercy. Somebody said, Bishop, mercy. You need mercy at home. You need mercy on the job. America need mercy. We don't need justice. We need some mercy. If God have mercy on us, the floods won't come. The fire won't come. The storm won't come. The tornadoes won't come. Mercy. God gives some mercy because there's some people praying. It's, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. You give thanks unto God. Tell somebody you love them. Tell somebody it's going to be all right. Help that old lady. Help that old man. Get ready because everything finna the change. Somebody said change. God finna make a change. And when God make a change, it's a change. When God said enough is enough, it's enough. And I'm telling you this morning, get on board for God to heal you. Get on board. For God to bless you. I said I want to go in the spirit this morning. I want to go body, mind, soul, and spirit. I want you to receive the anointing of the archangels Micah, Gabriel, and the angel Metatron. These are angels that have been pushed down, but I'm bringing them back up. I want to let you know, don't get mad at me when I tell you Jesus was a black man. Don't get mad at me when I tell you the Holy Ghost was black. Don't get mad at me when I say God was a black man. Look around you. Look look in Africa. Look, everything come from Africa is bigger and better. Life come from now. We got black people make computers. We got black people make trains. We got black people go in and do heart surgery, do brain surgery. I just want you to know that God got the melanated man on earth in order to heal it. So you got to be a healer. You got to heal the sickness that's going on. We got sickness in our country. Prayer change it. When you begin to pray, people, it's some changes gonna come. It ain't gonna come by people saying it ain't gonna work. But with God, all things are possible. I want you to get ready for God to bless you this morning. I want I, I got a word for you. I got a scripture for you. You tune in, you listening. I want to tell you about what God got for you. If God give me your address, don't even worry about it. He gave me 3957. This in Dallas, it's gonna be all right. And I want to tell you in Atlanta, you living at 1045. Move away from now. I see a fire. And if you do what I say, God gonna bless you. Hallelujah. God is just good this morning. Anyway, I want to tell you prophecy from God. And I'm seeing a young lady body trying to get healed, but she stay in confusion. And you got to come out of confusion for God to bless you. God opened that door for you. Your cleansing prophet at 906. I want you to read Psalms 132 for your breakthrough. Start to looking for your new car. God said you're going to have it. Psalms 26 and 45. Uh, 46, 66, Psalms 7, 17 and 25. Make your mind up what you want God to do for you. Uh, 53, 45, Psalm 14, 22. Get ready for God to bless you. I'm prophesying the word right now. God going to do something special. I see a scripture coming for you. I see money on the rising for you. Psalms 90 and Psalms 4, 81, 38. Get ready. I see a lady in the spirit realm saying all is well. I'm praying for you. Uh, 30, 84. Psalms 19 and 28, that's your message. I want to tell you, when I give you the message, God got a blessing for you. Now, when I give you, you go to your Bible. I'm giving you scriptures from the Bible to give you what you need to do. Ezekiel 37 for 1866. And you go to, and the Spirit said, raise up them dry bones that's around you. It's some women's. 
They say they with you, but they ain't not in the word. It's some men say they with you, they listen. But when you start reading that 37 number of uh, Ezekiel, they're going to rise up huh, out of them dry bones. I, I say, I say, and every door closed going to be open. Uh-huh. They listening, but is they doing what you say? Is they listening, but is they obeying the word of God? And I want to tell you, Jeremiah 1 and 5, God knows you for you got in your mother womb. For you came out, God knows you, and God ordained you to preach the gospel. He ordained you to speak some things to the nation. So whatever you got to do, you're doing it for God to the nation. So somebody going to look at you and say, that's a mighty woman. That's a mighty man. That's a man of God. That's a man of woman. I ain't worried about people giving you a, a validation. I want you to be a man of God. Abraham and Isaac was a man of God. When you're a man of God, God going to lift you up. Somebody going to listen to what you got to say. I say, I say, get ready for God to bless you. This is his third month of the year, 2017. Let me say it again. This is the third month. God got a blessing, your name on it. God got a breakthrough with your name on it. I dare you to shout. I dare you to say, God said the money is already in place. The joy is already, the happiness is already in place. You just got to shout. You got to say thank you. When you begin to give God the blessing, begin to thank God for your healing. Thank God for the anointing. Thank God for the job. He's going to give you a new job. He's going to give you another job. Then he's going to give you your own business where you can hire some people. You got to begin to praise God this morning. You got to begin to call his name, the God of the water, God of the wind, almighty God, the God that is a healer of all mankind. The God is the creator of all mankind. All men was made by the hands of God, and God gave them dominion over the world. I want to tell you this morning, man, you got dominion, family. I want to tell you, young lady, you got dominion. Walk in your in your dominion, walk in your path. I don't care what they're doing at the White House. I don't care what they're doing at the State House. I don't care what they're doing at the City House. If you walk in the anointing of God, the devil going to fall every time. Whatever they try to do, God got your back. Fret not thyself of evildoers. They'll soon be cut down. Cut up like grass. You'll walk on them and say, glory. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus, and thank God for you, for you and you. Be happy. Don't go around with your head on down. I'm losing my health care. I'm gaining my health care. I'm gaining what God given me. God is the creator and the author of finish everything. Tell somebody, I'm gaining power day by day. I'm claiming anointing day by day. I'm claiming success day by day. I'm claiming God for a breakthrough. I wish I had somebody that could create some things this morning. I wish I had some people that was able to demand. God told Jeremiah, prophesy to the world. And I'm going to prophesy to the world. God is in control. I'm going to prophesy to you. You can walk out of cancer, TB, 2B. You can walk out of tuberculosis. You can walk out of tumors. I get excited sometimes because God be feeding me that energy. I be getting emails. I be getting, good God Almighty, thank God. You can walk out of cataracts, tumors, high blood. You can walk out of, you can walk out of the condition that man that put you in. You can walk up out of the graveyard of death. Good God Almighty, God got something for you. I'm telling you, get ready for God to bless you this month. Get ready to claim your deliverance. Get ready to claim your healing. Get ready for that door that's been closed that will open up for you. I want you to get ready. 7198, Psalm 71, and Psalm 69, 
God told me to, for you to read that, that's going to be a blessing for you. And I want to give you 50 50 Psalms 28 and 46. And I want to tell you 0307 Psalms 33 55. And I want to tell you that God got that door that will open up for you. It's time for you to prophesy. It's time for you to receive the anointing. It's time for you to stand up and say, for God I live, for God I die. It's time for you to decree the power of God on your life. And I want to tell you, the devil tried to take your daughter out, but God wouldn't let the devil take her out. The car crashed and she was all right. She don't even know that angel was there that stopped everything. Sometimes you got invisible angels and sometimes you got physical angels. If you're spiritual minded, you can see the angel. The angels will talk to you and they will come around you and show you some things. I want you to get ready for God to bless you this morning. I want you to get ready to claim your healing because it's something about the word of God. It's something what God going to do for you. I'm asking you this morning, Gloria, I'm praying for you. And I want to tell you, Francis, I'm praying for you. Down in Georgia, I'm praying for you, Sister Rena, that thing will be all right. And Diane, I'm praying for you, Sherry. I'm praying for you in Georgia. I'm praying for you in Bernice, Louisiana. And I'm praying for you in Dallas, Texas for Joe. Joe, I got your letter. It's going to be all right. And I want to tell you, Minnie, that everything go over. Ruth, I haven't forgot you. Down in North Carolina, got your letter. I'm praying for you. I want to tell you, your Ark of Covenant is on the way. I want to tell you this morning, if you need the Ark of the Covenant, uh, write me. If you need the Ten Commandments, write me. I, you need the Ten Commandments in your house. You need the Ark of the Covenant in your house. The Ark of the Covenant means the, the power of God is with you to protect you from all the evil and the witchcraft and all that the devil thrown at you. I want you to get ready this morning to claim the healing that God got for you. Tell somebody you love them. Help somebody. Tell them all. Encourage people. God wants you to encourage people. Tell them that when I get through praying, God going to change things around. You got down on your knees, but when you got up, all was well. I want to tell you that, Brother White, all is well. Once you make the trip to Chicago and come back, everything finna change. I want to let you know that. Thanks for the change for the better. I just thank God for the Holy Ghost. You know, I've been prophesying. I got Dr. Christian going to come and pray. I want you to hold on the line because them that want to have something to say this morning, maybe you got a testimony. I want you to give your testimony this morning. Not no long testimony, but I want you to press one on your phone. I got four people already. I got another four over here. I got about 20 people want to testify. So you got to get in and out. But I'm going to have Dr. Christian pray that prayer for sickness all, coming all the way from Detroit with all that's going on. One of the things I wanted to pray for about the pipeline, about the people in Nana, you know, we got Pence in Washington as the vice president. He left blacks in the project with, with, with water, contaminated water on land. He ain't said a word about that. You know, he going to hell for what he doing. And he left all them black people in the project with 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 contaminated water, and the land is 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 contaminated. Right in Indiana, we want to pray for the situation in Washington and around the world. And as we pray, I want you to pray and decree along with us all the week. We own seven days a week from eleven to twelve. Tell a friend, tell a neighbor. Say, so listen to Bishop. Listen, we got something to say, and you ain't going to hear it on ABC, NBC, CNS. You ain't going to hear it on it. You're going to hear it on the Internet, which God gave us to give you. And you better listen and get what we talked about, people uh, being hungry. 
We talk about farming. Talk about setting your gardens up because you can't get nothing out of these stores. It's poison finna come. We're talking about getting generators. It's things that we're talking about that you got to listen to. It'll help you. We're crying out in the wilderness. We're crying out in these major cities where killings going on, murders going on day to day, and you think it's normal for somebody to have a heart attack. You think it's normal for somebody to have a stroke. You think it's normal for people to have cataracts. It's not normal. It's the energy of negativity that's hitting our people. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God turned like you got to come back to God. God bless you this morning. Wherever you might be, school teachers, Lord, we're praying for the first offender, the first we're praying for them. Right now we're going to Detroit, the Motor City. We, the reason I go to Detroit, Detroit where the first car was made. The Detroit them been all over the world. And then they want to condemn the blacks in Detroit. They want to condemn Detroit. Detroit, God made Detroit a holy city, a blessed city, and we're gonna raise it up. Dr. Christian with the prayer for the world. Yes. Mercy. Praise him. Praise him. 
East, West, North, and South. Raising this morning. Hallelujah. Blessing, come down. Get ready for your blessing. Get a cup. Get a bucket. Because it's coming. Money, joy, happiness, healing. Get a bucket. Get a cup. Get a foot tub. Get a number two tub. It's coming down. Get a number two tub. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Get you a number two tub and catch that blessing, Mr. White. That, get that number two tub and catch that big blessing, uh, Gail. Get 